Hi, this is Glenn at Switch Up. I just want to thank developers Flying Tiger for providing us with a review copy for today's game. As I've mentioned previously on this channel, as a kid I owned a Commodore 64. My three favourite games without doubt were Midnight Resistance, APB, and Sly Spy, or Secret Agent as it was known over here in the UK. This was a home conversion of the 1989 Data East arcade game, and the game was inspired, shall we say, by James Bond and borrows quite heavily from that franchise. Well, that arcade version of Sly Spire is now available on the US eShop under the Johnny Turbo Arcade label, and my 10 year old inner self has just wet himself with excitement. So sit back and relax while I go and change, and then we'll get on with the review. The game starts by having you pick your three digit code name. Of course, everyone always picked 007. I mean, what else were we going to pick? 006. For England, James? The eighth. You are then told that the Council for World Domination Terrorists, that title certainly does what it says on the tin, doesn't it? Has infiltrated the city and must be stopped. Sly Spy then promptly jumps out of an aeroplane and level one begins. It's quite the entrance and you can almost hear Carly Simon singing Nobody Does It Better when your parachute opens to spell the end of the level one. The graphics are nice and chunky with big bold sprites filling the screen. Sly has the classic Bond-like tuxedo look, and the villains all look like Che Guevara with their facial hair and red berets. You'll also be fighting dogs and tigers too. You will find times when there are huge amounts of enemies on screen, but even at these times there is no slowdown whatsoever, which is great. There are a nice mix of environments, as well as the aforementioned skydiving level, you will be chasing villains while riding a motorbike, scuba diving, and exploring underground bases. They all look great and the game oozes style. There are boss battles at the end of most stages and these again borrow heavily from James Bond. As well as the Jaws look-alike, you will also encounter Oddjob. Now for legal reasons they probably couldn't call him Oddjob, so it's probably Odd Bob or something like that. There is also an epic battle with a shark which blew my mind as a kid, even on the primitive Commodore 64 version. So to see this scene in all its arcade glory was a real treat. The graphics have so much charm and the game includes the option to view them with scan lines, in composite style and even with a VHS effect. They look great to this day and receive 16 out of 20. The music in Sly Spy is very fast paced and fits the action nicely. There is a theme that runs through the game with the same intro and boss music at the beginning and end of a stage. There is one main theme that plays in roughly half of the levels in the game. With the remaining levels having their own themes. It almost feels a bit like a movie score in that respect, with certain riffs being heard throughout all of the music that ties it together and gives the game some consistency. I think the game would have benefited from having at least one more piece of level music, just to change things up a little bit, but what's here is of a very high quality. There is some digitised speech used sparingly throughout the game, mainly to congratulate you on a great job at the end of the stage. Sound effects are good, the bullet sounds are classic, and sound like the Wolf of PPK that James Bond favours. Music gets 15 out of 20. Sly Spire plays in a run and gun fashion. It is most similar in style to Namco's Rolling Thunder games, rather than some of the more bullet heavy run and gunners like Contra or Metal Slug. Movement is a little slower and every shot needs to count due to limited ammo and few power ups. That's not to say that the action doesn't get intense because it does, and quite often too. This was an arcade game designed to take your money after all. In fact, sometimes the sheer amount of enemies on screen can be quite overwhelming and you will die a lot. Should you run out of ammo, you have a kick move and thankfully it's somewhat decent, although you won't want to be relying on it too often, so be sure to pick up the additional ammo that fallen enemies will drop. Sometimes they will also drop a golden icon with a G on it, and collecting enough of these grants you the golden gun power up for a short while. Seriously, how did they not get sued? This will kill every enemy it hits, and is great for taking out multiple enemies at once. The gameplay holds up very well to this day. It's brutally tough as you would expect from a coin-up game from 1989, but these Johnny Turbo arcade releases, much like the Hamster Arcade Archive series also on the Switch, allow you to have as many credits as you wish with a press of the R button, so you will definitely see the end of the game. There is also a save state option too, but a lot of the fun is setting yourself a limit and seeing how far you can get, then attempting to beat that the next time. However, whatever your playstyle is, the gameplay is still a lot of fun and it gets 18 out of 20. 
Controls are extremely simple in Sly Spy. B jumps, A shoots, the R button inserts more credits and the L button starts the game once a credit has been inserted. You can only shoot left and right but you can both crouch and jump while shooting. Everything feels nice and responsive, even with you controlling quite a big sprite on screen. There is absolutely nothing wrong with these controls and they receive 16 out of 20. As of the time of this review, the game is only available on the US eShop and costs $6.99. From what I've heard, it will be coming out on the EU store next week on the 10th of May. If you were to just plough through the game, inserting a credit every time you die, then you will probably see the end in about 20 minutes. However, if you limit yourself to a set amount, as stated earlier, and rely on your skills improving every time, not only will you get better at the game and make progress, but the game will last you a good few hours more. It does throw a ridiculous number of enemies at you at times, and there will be times when a death feels unavoidable. The bosses are tough, but quite fair with easy to learn patterns, and it certainly isn't as hard as some other run and gun games. Personally, I see arcade run and guns like this one, Metal Slug or Shock Troopers in the same way I do puzzle games like Tetris. What I mean by this is that they are perfect games to play when you only have 15 minutes to spare. So I will play these games over and over again, so I don't see the short play length as a negative. If you are just intent in blasting through the game, with little self-constraint when it comes to the credits you give yourself, and have absolutely no intention of replaying the game at all though, this section will score a lot lower for you. But as a great pick up and play game, and a challenging game for those that wish to master it, the value is certainly there, and it scores 15 out of 20. To conclude, Sly Spy is a fun arcade game, and it's great to see some of these gems from the past being given a new lease of life on current gen consoles. To have it available to play portably in the Switch version also adds so much to games like this where you can just have a quick 15 minutes or set yourself a 2 or 3 credit challenge. If you only want one run and gun game on your Switch, taking away all the nostalgia that I have for this one, I would probably have to say that one of the first three Metal Slug games would be the way to go, especially considering that they are also two player co-op games. But this game plays differently enough that you shouldn't limit yourself to just one. This is a little slower paced, more methodical, and if you like rolling thunder then you will have a great time with this one. Sly Spy receives a switch up score of 80%. Now if we could just have Midnight Resistance on the Switch 2, my 10 year old inner self will never ask for anything else again. Honest. Thank you as always for watching this review. The positive comments on my last couple of videos such as Streets of Red and Football Manager have been absolutely wonderful to read and very humbling. So thank you very much for that. Please stick a comment in below. Let me know what you think of this game. Will you be picking it up? And as always, keep it Switch up for all things Switch all the time. Happy gaming.